Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's just awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, I want to dedicate this to the best handhelds for Sega Dreamcast emulation or gameplay on the go. If it comes to Sega Dreamcast, where not a lot of different handhelds can run the program good or decent enough that you have a very good experience. In the last couple of years, I have reviewed so many handhelds and there are a lot of different ones out there and a lot of crappy ones. So I basically dig through the pile thinking which handhelds can, let's say, give us a decent experience and are just affordable to have this awesome Sega Dreamcast system on the go. For the people who don't know, Sega Dreamcast is just a system that is, has a lot of good memories personally with me. I had a lot of good games, a lot of ports from the arcade. Nevertheless, the people who know Sega Dreamcast know exactly what I'm talking about. So in this video, I want to dig through the pile, search for you, the handheld, so you don't need to waste your money. I want to begin this video with the MoQ i7. There is also an i7s that is a little bit more beefcake than the other version and has some minor improvements. But the MyQ, I think the biggest downside of this product is, is that it is very expensive. These things go around 250 euro up to 350 euro, so that's a lot of money. It's flawed in many ways because we're missing shoulder buttons, for example. So, but the reason why I'm still mentioning this is that I think it's the best of the best if it comes to Android devices from China. But of course, it's not for everybody because I still wanted to focus this on, let's say, cheap devices that are able to play the Android or, let's say, the Android Redream emulator decent enough so we have a good experience on the go. But the MuQ i7, I did a full review, so if you're interested in it, you can always check it out. It's a very cool device, it's very expensive, but it's the best we can get, but not my favorite. Oh, that was brutal. Come on. You're not going to slip me with it. Indeed, you can see it. It's super. So for the next one, I wanted to say that the GXD Android handhelds are just great to have in your collection and to want to play some games on the go. It depends a little bit what kind of GXD Android handheld you're going to get. There are for example 5 and 7 inch version out there that go around 150 to up to 200 euro. It's still a lot of money and it's a little bit cheaper than a MoQ. But at the end, I think the GXD are a very high quality product in com let's say in if you compare these with other brands. It's cheaper than a MoQ, there are common many different versions, they are a little bit hard to find, but if you find one on eBay, sometimes they are lost on AliExpress, some sellers still have a little old stock, but keep in mind uh, that you need to find, an, let's say, a GXD version that doesn't come with an Android 4, otherwise you can't use a Redream and you are stuck with the re cast emulator. It's not really bad, but I'm a big fan of the Redream in general. So for the next one, I'm having the X18 from Pow Kitty. Yes, because this is the clamshell version handheld. It's similar like the Nintendo DS, for example, and other devices from China. I love the design itself. It is flawed in many ways. For example, the D-pad can be flawed with some models. I did notice some people were complaining about it. But in general, if you look at the thing you're going to get, I really love the IPS screen that comes in this device. It's powerful, not a powerful of course like the MoQ that I've mentioned before, but these things go around for $99. So in combination like the quality and the price, this can be a very nice handheld to get. 
But again, it's more like your personal preferences. Do you like to have a clamshell handheld? We want to have just a little bit bigger landscape. That is something you need to decide for yourself. It has all the buttons that we're going to need. We have a dual analog stick. At the back, we're having all the buttons. Everything what we're needing is on this device. So I just need to mention the X80 Power Kitty. It's a really cool device and I really love it for what it is. So in the next one, it's again from the brand Pow Kitty because this is the X15. The X15 isn't handheld, it's more a totally different if you look at the previous model. This is more like a landscape version. It comes with not really a D-pad, shame they are still using four buttons, but it is not really bad. I really love the analog stick with this handheld, in general I'm a D-pad guy. But this thing, it plays nice, it has a touchscreen because it's just an Android, more like a little tablet combined with a handheld. So that's what I really like about it. And there is a way for updating the firmware. This is something I need to mention with these Spow Kitties, but it is something out of the box. You can use a lot of different games. You can also use the Red Dream emulator and you can play a lot of great the games, Sega Dreamcast on the go. Again, it is not super powerful, but still for the money, it goes around $99. Maybe you can get it a little bit cheaper and sale, but for the money, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. So this thing, it's a little bit higher in my rank. It's a little bit higher on my favorite list. But you can see over here with this game, it doesn't run on 60 frames. You need to decide for yourself if you think this will be an issue for you. Keep in mind, it's a very budget device. Horrible beep at time. I'm getting masked by Captain. Like. Captain America, yeah, come. It works. So for the last handheld, I just want to talk about the GPD Android. I don't know if the people are familiar with this, but what I really like about the GPD Android, both of them, is not the clamshell construction they're having. But when you're opening up and when you're closing, you can feel this thing is a way better quality than the X18. It costs more, I think around 50 euros more, or 60 dollars. But at the end, you're going to get a better quality product. The two Android versions are both great. I don't know if you can get the old one nowadays. I, don't, I think on AliExpress you can only get the newer version. Nevertheless, the price difference is quite minor between them. But if you're looking at what you're going to get, it's a high quality product. It plays nice. It has enough power to run Sega Dreamcast games and combined with the Red Dream again, you have a very powerful and a very cool experience. So this is what we're going to get with the personal favorite handhelds. What you're already knowing that a lot of these are Android based and simply because Red Dream is something that is only for the Android so far I know. What I already mentioned that Red Dream is only for the Android. It's always the question when they are going to port it to different system. It's available for Linux if I'm saying correctly and also for the Raspberry Pi. But the reason why I didn't add a system to the list is because, simply because there is no Android 4, because we're going to need the 4 at least, available for a portable device. Most of the devices that I'm going to see here on AliExpress are just Raspberry Pi 3 systems. And that is a little bit of a problem because they are not powerful enough and we need a Raspberry Pi 4 at least with 4 GB of RAM combined with Red Dream to emulate it on a Pi. And if we're having a handheld in the future, maybe you're seeing this, I can tell you the GB Classic would be a very great item and handheld to get for on the go. So that concludes this video. I hope you have a better idea what kind of handhelds you can get for your money. If you have any questions, call us, leave it in the comments. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell. Come on with the Wicked family and I will see you in the next video.